of our trust, may all glory, honor, and praise be to Father and Messiah, Yahushua, Yolahim, of all heaven and earth. If you like what you see in this, or any of my videos, please share it. Today I'm talking about Oz or AZ or AZ. Uh, it's an angel. <clears throat> Azazel. I don't like to say any of these fallen ones' names. So I'll try not to repeat it over and over, but uh, today's topic is about the fallen one. And he is called Crafty Worm Azazel. I got a lot of little scribbles here, taking notes over time. And then one day the notes just come together and make a lot of sense. There is a depiction of the snake on a pole in the hushed hand. Jesus is in the hushed hand. Snake on a pole. This is the medical establishment. They use a snake on a pole for healing in the desert. There was a snake on the pole for healing. Here is a depiction of Jesus on the cross, snake on a pole, the name Zeus or Allah, Azazel is all of these depictions. Azazel is the Six six six. The Arabic and the Greek symbols that look like our X, Z, and S make Chai Zeus. Um, crafty Worm would be Allah six 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 Jesus or Chai Zeus. Snake on a pole, Jesus, Zeus. This is Allah, but it's got a 666, and it's actually got the number 666 in the name, um, which is wow. It's, it's like saying, hey, look at me. Um, the angel, I could ask because it could be. A group of angels of course but the angel that flies or the angels that fly that are horned elevated the pole symbolizes elevated up in the air um, the pole can mean something but I think what is it, it's meant is to elevate to be up in the air from how I see it so we're talking about something that can possibly fly that's up in the air it's airborne or up above the flying dragon angel who had horns is this crafty worm Azazel in the depictions of Allah and ancient Egypt and different belief systems you always see this snake sometimes a snake with wings meaning a snake that can fly but it's not just any snake it's a serpent snake it's a serpent angel a seraphim a, a scaly viperous angel and his name is 
crafty worm. Um, Azazel is called the crafty worm. And this little passage here, there's definitely a tie-in with Nehushtan, um, alien god. Is with these terms that are used, and they glorified an alien god. I mean, they probably don't mean alien UFO, but it's just up in the air. UFOs are up in the air. An alien god. Just these terms are very probably generally speaking, but it seems like something from the sky is going to come down. In the um, ascension of Isaiah, it talks about Belair or Belair, Belair or Belair. He comes down and Seems like Azazel and Belial might be the same person, a crafty worm that flies, that deceives people. Um, if people are dece deceived by Azazel into believing that Jesus is, you know, the lawless Messiah, Jesus is God, or that Allah, Allah, the symbol of Allah, is a snake. A snake up on a pole. That means a, a snake that can go up in the air. Um, Azazel, Jesus, Allah, and Zeus. They're all the same. And people, uh, they probably know that, but when you see the symbols um, come together, it's just slam dunk that this tricky crafty worm azazel he is the one behind all of the different religions of the world and everybody say well oh, every every everything but jesus or jesus no jesus is azazel jesus is azazel because jesus or jesus is always through the church preachers and teachers saying that you don't have to keep the Torah, the commandments, the law. And that's not what Ye Yehweh Shuai ever said. Um, never. So, what do you do? You follow a lawless messiah or do you follow Yahweh Shuai, who says, keep the fruit of the Spirit and the, the Ten Commandments at least? What do you do with that? Azazel comes along, gets in the heads of the leaders of the church, and they become eventually the Roman Catholic Church, the faith of... Uh, the false faiths, the orthodoxies, then it creeps in and creates another religion called Islam. Islam, or Muslim, they believe in a name, but behind that name in the pictographic Arabic and Greek and Hebrew, we see an upright an upright cross thorns and nails and Arabic and Greek we see this Z makes it's, it's a snake on a pole it's Nehushtan and the word Chizus is Jesus they're the same they're, they're all the same this crafty flying worm snake serpent dragon horned devil that can fly and do, do do tricky things in the air so also there's a um, 
was watching this morning. There's a volcano or there is something that happened in the desert just east of Mount Hermon area. And there's a black spot out in the desert where there was a nasty volcanic activity. It could have been Gateway came down and did something there with his angels. But there's seemingly some information saying that this Azazel or Oz, Oz, as Zaz, Zazel, or Azazel, Zeus, Chezus, or this name Allah seems to be in the past a good name, but it has been used or slightly altered. to help Azazel trick people. These religions are tricking people. Don't get deceived by their doctrines. Read the first five books of the Bible. These these books, the, Apocaly the Apocalypse of Abraham, the books that were thrown away and put in this, in these books or, or the Apocryphal books or you know, different These books were taken out so you would be deceived easily. And it's very suspect that the Bible only has 66 books. There's just something wrong with that number in, in, in the first place. It's almost like screaming that the books were taken out. Um, anyway. Yeah, we bless you all. I'll read a little bit and, uh, you know, you can see my scribblings. They mean nothing to you unless you read and, and, and actually ask Father Messiah to, to show you. But I definitely um, pray and, and, and ask you to read the book of Apocalypse of Abraham. For the makers will see in them justice, the makers who have chosen my belly. Or, excuse me, I have a neurological episode here. <clears throat> because I have prepared them to be food for the fire of Hades and to be ceaseless soaring in the air of the underworld region of the uttermost depths to be the contents of a wormy belly that wormy belly is is azazel for the makers will see in them justice the makers who have chosen my desire and manifestly kept my commandments and they will rejoice with merrymaking over the downfall of the men who remain and who followed after the idols and after their murders <clears throat> for they shall putrefy in the belly of the crafty worm Azazel Azazel is a law Azazel is 666 Azazel is Zeus Azazel is Jesus. Jesus. Okay. The crafty worm, Jesus. The crafty worm, Allah. The crafty worm, Zeus. The crafty worm, Azazel. The crafty worm, Belier. And they will be burned by the fire of Azazel's tongue. Azazel's tongue. Zeus's tongue. Jesus' tongue is a Allah's tongue. These they, they're all the same. For I waited so they might come to me, and they did not come to me. And they glorified an alien God. Allah. Azazel. 
this extraterrestrial god, Azazel, Jesus, Zeus. And they joined one to whom they had not been allotted, and they abandoned Yahweh, Yahweh Shua, Yahweh, the Lord, who gave them strength. Therefore hear Abraham and see, behold, your seventh generation shall go with you, and they will go out into an alien land, and they will be enslaved by them and oppress them and as for an hour and impious of the impious age but of that of the nation <clears throat> whom they shall serve i am the judge and yahweh said to and yahweh said this too have you heard abraham what i told you what your tribe will encounter in the last days, Abraham, having heard, accepted words of Elohim in his heart. Okay, this is the end of time. And the Zazel, his, his, all, all of these people, all, all these different gods, they're, they're Azazel tricking anyone he can and it's not just one angel but a whole group of them <clears throat> hopefully this is enough to get you to to buy the book there's two, two books this is um, volume one there's volume two um, James H. Charles Worth, <coughs> Charles Worth uh, Apocalyptic Literature and Testaments If you can, go to cbd.com, Christian Book Distributor, or something like that. That's where I got it for, I think it was 40 bucks for two bucks. Not too out of pocket there, but it's better than nothing. And you have the Seifer and all these, these other ones that are really nice, but they're, they're probably expensive. Um... But if you can, just Google up Apocalypse of Abraham and, and read it online for free. But uh, the information that I've been getting the last past year or so out of these two books is really, really something. It's blowing me away. Um, I have a lot of things going on in my life, so taking time to do this is and it's you know as I was reading it this morning it was coming together in my mind right now I'm trying to put it into words I mean it's very hard for me I hope that uh, has reached you well and that you get the gist of what I'm trying to say or the the picture that it was, came into my mind when I was doing my devotions this morning. May Yahweh, Shua, Yehwalheim, Father and Messiah, bless you. May your day be well. May you be blessed by this. Um, may you have peace and blessings all day. Shalom.